Isabella, what are the main health effects of diesel car exhaust and why are diesel emissions so much more harmful than those of petrol cars? So, first of all, diesel is at the origin of 9 million deaths in the world, which is almost 15% of all the deaths. So, it's a huge burden attributable to diesel, mainly to the particles, fine particles, ultra fine particles that it contains. Why is it more uh, uh, dangerous than petrol? For many reasons. From the health point of view, because of uh, these uh, teeny particles, the ultrafine that can go very deep in the body of the human beings, so they attack all the organs. This is why now we don't say only that uh, diesel is responsible for uh, cardiorespiratory diseases, but also for metabolic diseases like diabetes, neurologic diseases, uh, arthritis, uh, cancer, leukemia for example in children. And the effect starts already in, in utero life with the smaller baby, just like in the case of passive smoking. The mother that smoke has a baby that can be lighter, the same for mothers that were exposed during pregnancy. But uh, the other reason is uh, for uh, mainly also climate changes because it, once again because of this particle, because of a black carbon, there is an absorption of uh, the light and thus the more gases, green gases, greenhouse gases that stay in the atmosphere around the earth. So um, are prevention measures like diesel bans in inner cities sufficient to combat this obviously huge problem? And what do you think about newer car models that uh, have um, emission control devices for diesel engines? So first of all, uh, we have a very good example, the city of uh, Tokyo, in which uh, the mayor uh, almost 20 years ago decided to ban uh, diesel as a uh, uh, as possible, I mean, uh, and so now we see already the effect because uh, one thing is very important to stress is that diesel is at the origin of very chronic uh, diseases. So many years of exposure to diesel are needed to see the adverse health effect. So this is why we are seeing now less uh, that related to uh, diesel in uh, Tokyo. But uh, uh, so one other way we could think is uh, to have an uh, alternative uh, engine. But what we know now is that these engines are not uh, performant except when they go very fast and that they can uh, uh, hit the system is a, a particle filter that uh, to be clean, the regenerator needs high speed, a high temperature, it's like the pyrolysis in oven. You need the pyrolysis to clean it. And actually in towns this is not possible because we have to go very slow, there are a limit, speed limits, and also we stop all the time so that we start again. So in towns really uh, this system does not uh, work. Sorry. And, uh, as a result of that, we have a lot of NO2, nitrogen dioxide, that is also a very bad air pollutant for health. So we have increase of these air pollutants that we thought in the past we had in some way limited. No, it's coming up at a lot, just like the ultrafine particles are very, very tiny because of the new system and for example Euro 6 and Euro 7 and there are some cars very expensive that are using another system to try to avoid this NO2 production putting ammoniac but this is even worse because then we, uh, we pro I mean just because of the same system slow driving in towns, no speed, etc. We have ultra fine particles again, and we have also nitrous 
uh, gas that is very bad for the uh, climate change because it stays in the air one year, 110 years. So you can imagine uh, how to fight against, uh, I mean, against climate change to protect the earth if we have uh, an enemy that is very, very much persistent. And this whole subject is a very political um, uh, subject. Um, so um, it's a very political subject because a lobby of a car constructor that yeah. are not ready to give a, a alternative a solution to the car they produce for years. I come from France. So we have a car constructor. They were produce diesel, like diesel cars for cent almost. Uh, I mean, they start the f one of the first diesel car was uh, from Peugeot, and now they still are doing that, and they have uh, no almost no electric cars. So uh, that's uh, a political issue. Yes. And how can you, as a as a as a doctor, as a professor, and uh, with an organization like the Yaki, can help to drive change in that kind of uh, area? With the Yaki, we go to very often to European Parliament to present uh, data and to try to convince a member of the parliament that it is important to reduce uh, diesel emissions and, in general, to improve mobility for people in towns and also we think about because this is not a secondary issue uh, when you have a car constructor with him you have a millions of workers these workers have to be used to do alternative engines because there is a sort of blackmailing of the car constructor. They say, if we stop, many people will, will be unemployed. No, we have to think about a you know, holistic, it is a difficult world solution that takes into account the industry, the government, the individuals. I can participate, I can cycle instead of taking a, a car. I can avoid a, a hot spot of air pollution by simply going uh, around this uh, point, for example. So really it's a, through the participation of several actors that we will be able to go towards a reduction of air pollution and mainly of a diesel air pollution. Isabella, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the Congress. Thank, thank you. you so much.